Here I'll describe some of the considerations for spar selection and planning your wing construction. My personal preference is these carbon arrow shafts since they're inexpensive, light, and virtually indestructible, but there's absolutely nothing at all wrong with using a wooden dowel as your spar. These wooden dowels, quarter inch diameter, four feet long, are about $3 in my neighborhood hardware store. And these carbon arrow shafts bought in a pack of six turn out to about $6 each. So the seven millimeter carbon arrow shaft weighs six grams per foot and the quarter inch wood dowel weighs 10 grams per foot. The carbon arrow comes in 32 inch sections, maybe longer. Wooden dowel comes in, seems to be a standard four foot sections, 48 inches. My recommendation would be if you're building a cheap plane where you need up to a 48 inch wingspan, simple joiner, weight is not as much of an issue and budget is more of an issue, go with the quarter inch dowel. If you need to join more, um, two to three or potentially more sections, weight is an issue and expense is not an issue, a six dollar carbon arrow shaft would be your best bet. How I'm joining these arrows together is you get what are called tip inserts that come with the arrow, sometimes installed, often not, and these are an eight 32 screw size and they are glued into the aero shaft with some not your fastest CA glue. I usually use kind of medium thickness, put it on and you just stuff it in and let it harden if you use the super fast. Sometimes it'll get to right there and stick and then you're kind of hosed at that point. So just glue it in like that and you have your two aero shafts that you wish to join with a 32 screw. You just take, take a screw that's at least uh, an inch and a half long, cut the head off, or use some all thread if you like, and you'll end up with a screw section this long. So a threaded 832 screw that is one and a half inches long. So there's your section of uh, all thread or cut off screw 832 size, 1.5 inches long. And so from there, just screw that screw segment or all thread into one. Now that they're joined, these arrow shafts will remain very well aligned as a spar, but do not trust this joint to bear any sort of uh, stress or weight. And so you would need to bridge this area with a piece of carbon fiber or lap over another uh, spar or a piece of dowel, carbon, wood, or otherwise. I have used a scrap of carbon spar from a fancy 3D plane that one of my buddies crashed at the field and dug it out of the garbage and it bridges the connection of these two spars. You just slide that right over and that provides a lot more stiffness. It doesn't fit perfectly snugly and if that is a necessity of course you can put some glue or other stiffening it measures inside there. Or here's a piece of carbon fiber plate that you could put under here and zip tie or safety wire or glue, whatever strength you need, this bar down to that carbon fiber or any other plate and that will provide some stiffness in this direction. Same idea if you're using a, a wood dowel as a spar. You can find a similarly sized tube with the same inside diameter as the dowel has outside diameter and just join the two uh, spars together that way. Uh, some stiff aluminum tube would probably work well also. When joining two uh, wings together, ideally if you've measured very carefully, the channel that's created for the carbon fiber spar will be aligned between the two, but if you're sort of a perfectionist, and particularly if you're going to join your wings directly together like this, you want them to line up more or less perfectly. If you've got them separated by fuselage or any kind of other uh, hardware in there, it's, it's not quite as critical, but I'll show you a way that you can ensure that these line up just right. So first construct one wing with the channel and put your carbon fiber arrow shaft spar in the channel. Then take the uh, second wing, which is uh, beveled here, and place it adjacent to the wing you want to mate it with and then get these leading edges aligned right here. It can't hurt to put something that you know is straight along that leading edge to index that. Now, with that held in place, you can use that to put your former 
right there, glue that down, and your two here, and then finally the one on top, like that, and so that when this is all glued together, it will join up nicely right across the front with a straight edge.